What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is Oracle card reading for week two of for Scorpio. This could resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, No, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Um, thanks for all the recent donations. If you like to donate, Thai Priestess 5 Personal readings are open, but most of the slots are filled up. So you have to text the book. I also offer life coaching. The information is in the description box below if you like, if you're interested. And love you guys so much. Okay, so this is the first sign of Scorpio. This can resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, No, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charts. And as always, only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Don't be forcing anything that doesn't fit. Okay? Got to get comfortable for this. Hold on. Spirit messages you have a sign of Scorpio. I did receive one channel message as I was meditating on energy, uh, Scorpio. And I'll deliver it. Just let me get this other card out. Spirit messages you have a sign of Scorpio. And it's a juicy one. It's a banger. And I feel for a lot of you guys, you know know this person, obviously. Uh, okay, more comfortable. Okay, so the okay, so we have fear, heartache over what you no longer have. Key successful outcome to your problems. Door opportunities are waiting for you. And then the channel message I received was uh, a, uh, a Pisces, I heard a feminine Pisces nurse. Now, you know, a nurse. So she could be an LPN, an RN, a RN, LPN, LVN, RN, CRNP, nurse anesthesiologist, whatever, whatever. I heard she's been in a very spicy secret affair with the doctor at work. I heard a hospital. Through many series of chain of events, she's about to find out she's pregnant. And it's his child. That is all I heard. You take it how it resonates. I think you guys know this Pisces femme nurse. I think you know her. She, like I said, I feel she can be an LPN, LVN, RN, CRNP, nurse anesthesiologist, what have you, what have you. Apparently, she's been having some kind of secret, spicy, sexual, obviously sexual contact, uh, contact with the doctor. A masculine doctor at work, and um, she's about to find out if she's pregnant. It's his child. So, uh, however you connect into this Pisces, Scorpio, um, I feel for, for some you could be a family member, for some you could be a neighbor, for some you could be a community member, for some you could be a coworker, for some you could be um, you could go to church with her if she goes to church. I don't know. I didn't hear she did. Um, if she does, she's a very a hypocrite. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. Well, I can't say that because I don't know. I don't know the details. I don't know if she's single, married, in a relationship, if she's cheating. I feel cheating energy here, but I didn't hear it was. There's a reason I'm pulling this in. There's a reason it's a secret workplace affair. It's the reason it's secret. So either she's in a relationship, he's in a relationship, they both are, or it's considered workplace fraternization. So, I, I mean, I don't know. However you know, uh, know her, it's a femme Pisces, Scorpio, with the doctor. And um, apparently they've had sex at least once. Um, and I'm telling you, man, about to find out the baby's his. So, however you plug into the mix is what I'm trying to say, okay? For some, I think you're going to be heartbroken over this, possibly. For some, it could get you out of the situation. Only you know how you plug into this Pisces, uh, Nurse Pisces, Femme, Nurse Pisces life and the doctor, secret doctor affair. Okay? Spirit messages here. Stingray. 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 Spirit messages here. Unicorn.
For one Scorpio household, there is extreme financial difficulties. Extreme. In one situation, they were getting assistance from a landlord in the past, but they're not getting assistance anymore. One of these Scorpios, they're about to move. For one, they're about to be forced to move. Through many series of shame events. Okay, so financial difficulties in a household, if this resonates and applies for you, Scorpio. Um, for some, I don't feel you're having financial difficulties, but you have to plug it in your own life how it resonates. Um, I feel for some, you're very abundant. You probably don't even have to worry about it. But for some, at least two of you guys out there, you're having financial difficulties. And that's just the truth for real, for real. Heard you were getting assistance from your landlord in the past. So a rental property rental manager or um, somebody that manages your home, I feel you rent. Uh, or you do Section 8 or something like that, how that resonates and applies. I don't know. I've never been on Section 8, um, and I've been a homeowner for five years, so I don't, I've been out of the property rental manager game for a long time. And my property rental manager, I had years ago, he was a, he was a good manager, property rental manager, so I ne never had any issues. But anyways, one of you guys has a property rental manager, and basically, um, you're having financial difficulties, and it sounds like this property rental manager manage, manager or management group or what have you, what have you, sounds like you rent from them. Uh, uh, they were helping you out in the past, but they're not helping you out anymore. So I think it's creating financial strife. Um, it's about to backfire on them in a huge way, them helping you out in the past. Their ass is under investigation. Section 8 voucher fraud. Oh, Lord have mercy. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Uh, whoever was helping you out in the past, some kind of Section 8 voucher fraud. But it doesn't sound like it's on you, Scorpio. It sounds like they committed the Section 8 voucher fraud. But, I mean, I don't know. However you plug into that, that's scary. I don't know. I don't get involved with criminal activities. However that resonates. But one of you guys are going to be forced to move soon. It might be because your property manager got involved in some kind of dirty dealings with Section 8 voucher fraud or not. For some, you're just going to decide to move. I think the rent's too high. Maybe cost of living in your city or town or province or wherever you are is too high. Something's too high. Maybe your house poor. I'm not sure. But you're um, about to decide to move. For one, for one, you'll be forced to move. Um, but somebody's got, somebody in this mix has a dirty property um, rental management group or a dirty property manager. I'll tell you that. So much so, their ass is under investigation for Section 8 voucher fraud. Some you might know this, for some you might find it out. You plug it in how it resonates. Yikes! Number 13, uh, no, sorry, number 18 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 18, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number. Number 18, patience. Um, and one of you guys, is, uh, I don't know how this pregnant, uh, Pisces nurse that's having this affair with the uh, doctor um, that's about to find out they're pregnant and it's the doctor's child. I don't know how they plug into your life. I feel for some you might be happy for this person. For some, I feel it might be your spouse or your partner or significant other possibly. And I hate to say that. I didn't hear that. I just intuitively feel it. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? We have patient, stingray, uniform, hard, uh, uniform, not uniform. Uh, heartache over what you no longer have, successful outcome to your problems, opportunities are waiting for you. Stingray. A family member is about to ask you back for money that they gave you. That was another family member's. They're... They're under heavy investigation. They're trying to get it all back. This, this family member that gave you this money treated you like trash in the past. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Okay, so when you guys got money from a family member in the past that was another family member? If that resonates for you, Scorpio, I feel you can be masculine or feminine, but you got money from another family member that was another family member. But this person that gave you this money and treated you like trash 
is under heavy investigation. And so now they're trying to collect all the money back, I guess, to give it to the right person. Um, or to hand it over. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't deal in criminal. I don't specialize in criminal. But they gave you money that was another family member's, which is criminal and illegal, period. But then they were nasty when they gave it to you. Now they're asking for it back. Because if you didn't know, maybe for some you do know, if you didn't know, the reason they're asking for it back and you feel this resonates for you is because they're under investigation. Now, whether you give it back or not, I don't know. Whether you give them back their nastiness or not, I don't know. Only you know what you're going to do, not anybody else. But it sounds like it's upcoming and they're about to ask for you the money, ask for the money back. And apparently they were very nasty to you in the past. So only you would know if you fit into this category and situation, not anybody else. But if you didn't know, it wasn't even their money to begin with. It was another family members. I feel for some, you might've known that. Maybe for some not. And if you didn't know, they're under heavy investigation and that's why they're asking for the money back. But apparently they were very nasty to you when they gave you the money. So Stingray, there's Stingray energy. Um, I feel... They were probably giving you the money to hold it over your head. So, like, if they needed a favor, they could come to you. And they know they could. Like, blackmail energy is what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. I don't, I mean, they're the stingray energy. They, um, it's like backbiting, blackmail, hold it over your head. Yeah, I'll give you this money, but I'm not even supposed to be giving you this money because it's not even my money to begin with. But if I give you this money, you got to do blah, 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 blah if I ask you to. Yeah, no, 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 nay, nay, nay. That's too much drama, man. Now, if you give the money or buy, back or not, I don't know. But this family member is about to ask for the money back soon. And just know they're under heavy investigation. And apparently they were very nasty to you when they gave it to you. They're a stingray energy. It could be a water sign that gave the, you this money, Scorpio, or just another sign in stingray energy. Like blackmail, blackballing, holding it over your head, but it wasn't even their money to give. Very nasty energy. Unicorn. A Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and a Leo is about to really blossom into their own. All feminine energies. All, thir uh, all 40 and below. You're about to see these changes in a huge way. Okay. So heavy blossoming energy. Um, a Tor all fems. Taurus, a Capricorn, and a Virgo, and a um, Leo. Them all. So heavy Ursa energy with the Leo feminine, and she might have Earth in her chart possibly too. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but I heard a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo, and a Leo feminine. They're all 40 and below. Um, you are about to see them blossom into their own. So I think something's going to change aesthetically on them, or something might change in their home space, or something might, something's going to change in their life, whether it's home space, aesthetic wise, maybe it's traveling, maybe it's a mixture, but Sounds like they're making changes in their life. And uh, they're either already have made changes in their life or they're about to. And you're about, I heard you're about to see it, Scorpio. So you could be happy about this or you could be sad about this or mad about this. Only you know the feelings you're going to have towards the positive changes, transmuting positive changes of this Taurus fem 40 and below, Capricorn fem 40 and below, Virgo fem 40 and below, Leo fem 40 and below. Um, only you know how you plug into their life and situation and if you're going to be happy, sad, mad, whatever, whatever about it, okay? For some, it's your, uh, an ex. For some, it's someone you wanted to be in a relationship with. For some, it's an ex-daughter-in-law. For some, it's an ex. For some, it's someone you wanted to be in a relationship with. And for some, it's an ex-daughter-in-law. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. And for some, it's an ex-parent on the ball team. 
and for some it's an ex-parent on a ball team. And for some it's your neighbor, and for some it's your neighbor. So for some it's an ex-parent on a ball team, some it's your neighbor, some it's um, uh, someone you wanted to be in a relationship with, someone it was someone you were in a relationship with, for some it's an ex-daughter-in-law. So you have to plug this Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Leo femme, 40 and below, in your own life how it resonates. Uh, they resonate. They're about their unicorn energy. I feel they're good transmuters of energy. I feel they're about they're changing up or is about to change up their life or their look or the way they do something. Or there's about to be some kind of changes in their life, but you're about to see them. And I feel positive changes here. Very positive changes for them. Very positive. Very positive changes for them. Very positive. So very positive changes for them. So they're in unicorn energy or about to be. Um, I'm feeling um, some they're about to get huge creative sparks. Huge. Some they're about to get huge creative sparks. Huge. So I think for some you're about to see these huge creative sparks. Um, you might see them on social media. They might tell you if you communicate with them. Um, but somehow you're going to see it, Scorpio. So, I mean, however you see it, I think you might view their social media platform or you might know them out in the 3D workspace or 3D world or what have you, what have you. Some are no, your neighbors, so I think you're going to see it on them. Um, for some of you guys, I feel you deal with them in 3D. For some, I think it's social media. For some, it could be both, but you're about to see it. So, this is them in the unicorn energy. For one, you've been working on a secret project and you're about to reveal it to the world. And for one, you've been working on a secret project and you're about to reveal it to the world. Music. Music. It's not going to go the way you think it's going to. For some, this is positive. For some, this is negative. Okay, so there's two of you. Two of you have been working on some kind of secret project that, um, and you're about to re like release it out to the world. Uh, both sound like their music. One, I don't think you thought it was going to do well. One, I thought I think you thought it was going to do well, is what I'm presuming here. But how that resonates, whether whatever mindset you had, whether you thought it was going to blow up in a positive way or just bust, it sounds like it's going to go the opposite way. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Heavy music energy here. This could be a lyric or a song. Or Either you wrote this song, produced this song, um, write, um, singing this song, what something to do with music. Um, for however that resonates, it could be um, instrument. How that resonates and applies. You are the unicorn here, and you're about to release it very publicly. Two of you guys working on secret projects. One you, um, one is going to blow up in a positive way. One is going to be a dud. But how, whatever way you're thinking in your mind it's going to go, it sounds like it's going to go the opposite way. How that resonates and applies. I think you've been very patient about this, very diligent about this, and that's why you've been working hard secretly on it. Behind the scenes, kind of like, uh, uh, you know, hiding your hand and um, getting all your ducks in a row and strategically planning and then releasing it out to the world. That way people can't steal your work, steal your ideas, and things like that. That's what I'm feeling. Fear, heartache over what you no longer have. The Section 8 voucher fraud issue is about to become a huge problem in a Scorpio's life. Huge. For one, you were in on it and you will be you will be connected to this. For one, you were not. And you will tell everything you know on your property manager and the situation. This section eight voucher prod's coming in very strong, man. Very strong. Okay, so I heard for one of you guys, uh, there's at least two. One, you were in on it, and I heard you will be connected. So like accomplice energy, you will be connected like accomplice energy. You were in on it. One, you were not. And um, the one that was not in on it, it sounds like you're about to find out about it, whether you're the one that's about to be forced to move or you're just going to free willing move, I'm feeling. Because there's a lot of moving energy, a lot of Section 8 voucher fraud. You have to plug yourself in and refit if that resonates for you. But 
However that resonates, you're about to find out about Section 8 voucher fraud, and you were not in on it. And I heard you're going to tell everything you know on your property manager and the situation. And absolutely, save yourself. Cover your ass because somebody was trying to get you into some dirty, dirty dealings. And that's just the truth. Um, just saying. My childhood friend is about to pass away soon. It's about to hurt your heart in a huge way. My childhood friend is about to pass away soon. It's about to hurt your heart in a huge way. My condolences to whoever this is for. That your childhood friend is about to pass away soon. My condolences are ma'am. If that resonates and applies, okay? Um, it could be a water sign or earth sign childhood friend that's about to pass away. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Moon, Moon, which is your charts, possibly. Um, I, I heard it's going to hurt your heart. It's going to give you a lot of heartache, a lot of grief, a lot of sorrow. And absolutely, man, that's terrible. I'm so sorry for whoever that's for. Key successful outcome to your problem. Someone hates their job, and through many series of chain events, they're about to switch jobs. Oh, well, good for you. So that could be the opportunities are waiting for you. One of you guys I heard hates your job, and through many series of chain events, you're about to switch your job. So um, opportunities are waiting for you, the new job. Um, it could be a new career sector, or it could be the same career sector you're in, and you're just job searching. Um how that resonates, but I think that's going to be a successful outcome to your problem because you hate your current job. Um, whether you're switching career fields or you're switching just the place you work at. Um, congratulations for having um, confidence in yourself to know you deserve better. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I think it's going to um, be a successful outcome to your problem. Absolutely. Always have confidence in yourself. Just saying. And in particular, Scorpio got a terrible personal reading in the past, the last two years. One specifically within the last year. A terrible personal reading. None of it was accurate. None was accurate. Through many series of chain events, they're about to request a refund. It's going to upset this reader. They're not going to tell you it is going to, but it will. Okay, so one of you guys got a personal reading. So a personal reading, I heard within the last two years, but for one of you guys specifically within within this last year. So we're October 11th of 2022, so I'm thinking you received it within October 11th of 2021 to now, but you plug it in how it resonates, but I heard it was a terrible reading, like it wasn't accurate, none of it sounded like it applied to your life or to your situation, or it didn't apply to your life or situation, or it never did, or whatever, whatever, but it was a dud of a reading. It doesn't sound like any of it really even matched up with you or your situation or your story or whatever, whatever. I heard you're about to request a refund back from a reader. It could be a home reader or a social media reader. All that resonates and applies. I heard the reader is going to be upset that you're requesting the refund back, but I heard they're not going to tell you they're upset. So um, only you know which reader this is and how they apply for you, Scorpio, for at least one is within this last year you received this reading. For some of you guys, it's within the last two years. Um, whoever this reader is and how they apply, okay? It's a feminine energy reader. It's a fem energy reader is what I heard. It's a fem energy reader. So you plug it in, how it resonates. It's a feminine energy reader. Um, how that resonates and applies, okay? Leo, feminine reader, earth sign reader, water sign reader. Oh, there's a lot of readers. Holy crap. A Leo, fem reader, uh, water sign, feminine. 
Ursan fam. All fans. A Leo fam, Ursan fam, Watersan fam readers. That's a lot of readers. So um, a Leo fam reader, she can have Leo in any aspects of her charts. Ursan reader, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo reader. She can have Ursan in any of her charts. Reader, fem. Um, Water sign. Uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio Fem Reader. You plug them in how they resonate. Cancer Pisces Scorpio Reader Fem. Taurus Capricorn Virgo Fem. Leo Fem. With some with you guys within the last year, some within the last two years, but it wasn't accurate. It didn't come true or it didn't come true or it didn't apply to your situation or story or whatever, whatever. I think you've been patient. I think you wasn't going to do it, but now you're about to do it. I heard they're going to be upset that you're requesting the refund back, but they're not going to tell you they're upset that you're going to um, you're requesting the refund. Um, most of you will get the refunds back. They don't want a lawsuit. And you know why. Okay, there's at least two of you about to request the refunds back. Okay, I heard most of you guys will get the refunds back from these readers. Water sign fem reader, Taurus Capricorn Virgo fem reader, water sign fem reader, and a Leo fem reader. I heard they will, most of them, most of these people will give you the refunds back. They don't want a lawsuit and you know why and they know why. So just know that if that resonates for you. A lot of you guys, it was within the last year. A lot within the last, well, some within the last two years, some a lot within the last year. Successful outcome to your problem is requesting the refund back. I heard most of you will get the refunds back. You will. I heard because they don't want a lawsuit and you know why and they know why. So only whatever reason. You know they don't want a lawsuit, and they don't want a lawsuit, okay? I heard most of you will get the refunds back, but I think you have to have confidence and ask for the refunds back, but I heard you will. You will. Successful outcome of your problem, asking for the refunds back, okay? Opportunities are waiting for you. And by the way, these are all feminine readers, all fem tarot readers, whether they're home-based or they're online social media, okay? And an Aries reader, feminine. And an Aries fem reader. And an Aries. So we have a Taurus Capricorn Virgo fem reader, Cancer Pisces Scorpio fem reader, a Leo fem, and an Aries fem. Only you know, I would hope you know what sign they are, who, the, who these, the, all, they're all fems, and how they plug into your situation, Scorpio. Door opportunities are waiting for you. When one door closes, another one opens. Someone is about to surprise get broken up with soon. It's going to shock the hell out of you, but it's going to be the best thing to ever happen to you down the line. You are 40 and below. Okay. So when one door opens, another one, um, when one door closes, another one opens. I think I might title the reading this. Uh, when one door closes, another one opens. I think we're talking about relationships here. Um, in this aspect, one of you guys is about to get broken up with, but I heard, um, this can be best thing ever happened to you. So it, it'll probably hurt for a little while. I'm sure it will. Uh, breakups are never easy. They, they usually hurt a little bit, a little, little bit. Depends how much you're in your feels about it. And that's just the truth. Um, are you big into your feels? Was that a big old relationship? Was it just casual dating or, you know, were you engaged? Were you planning a life with somebody? I mean, you know, only, you know, you know, but, um, if you went deep in your fields, it probably ain't going to hurt that much. But if you're planning a life with somebody, that's completely different. You know what I'm saying? But I think you're going to be um, upset about it. I think it's going to hurt either a little bit or a lot. But I heard it's going to be the best thing ever happened to you um, down the line, meaning they didn't, I don't think they really cared. And at least they were being upfront enough to break up with you and not cheat behind your back. And that's good. That's good. Just saying, just saying. So opportunities are waiting for you down the line as far as new connections, new love connections. Because it's good that they're breaking up with you and not lying to you. And I'm just being real. Yes, it's going to hurt your heart. Yeah, it's going to hurt your heart. Yeah, it's going to hurt. Why? Bruise the ego. Bruise the heart chakra. I'm sure it will, you guys. I've been broke up with many times. But at least they're being honest with you. It's better that they're being upfront about it and break it off. That way you can have more opportunities of love, true love, caring, affection down the line. And they're not blowing smoke up your ass. 
So yeah, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt the heart chakra, but at least appreciate the honesty. So in this aspect, opportunities are waiting for you is the uh, new love opportunities down the line and successful outcome of your problem, I think is the, uh, the breaking up here. I mean, and I'm just being for real. For some, it could be our sign or water signs could break up with you. We have those energies up here or it could be any sign. Okay. This aspect, it's new opportunities in love. A coach is about to quit a ball team soon. Just up and leave and move to another team. It's going to throw you for a loop. A huge loop. A coach is about to up and leave a ball team. For one, you are the coach. Oh, for one, you are the coach. Okay. So for one, you are the coach and you're about to up and leave a ball team. I heard, I heard it's going to throw the team for a loop. But you got to do what's best for you. Absolutely. For one, you are the coach about to up and leave the ball team. For one, you are not up and leaving the ball team. Somebody's about to up and leave the ball team on you, and it's going to throw you for a loop. So opportunities are waiting for you as far as finding a new coach or staff or coaching staff for this ball team. I don't know if it's children's ball team, high school, college, professional, whatever the hell it is. It could be rec team, kids ball, kids ball for all we know. But um, you're either the coach about to leave the team because it's better for you or, um, and you're able to, obviously if you're leaving the team, you're not in some kind of contract. I'm just saying. Or um, you are the one where the coach is just about to up and leave. And obviously they're not in a contract if they just up and leave. And that's just the truth. So you plug it in how it resonates. Successful outcome to your problem. A very angry baby mother is about to try to storm into your house soon. Very angry. Lock the door. Call the police. You're not going to want to do this, but it's she's very dangerous, and you know this. Oh, my God. Some kind of baby mama energy. It could be your baby mama or somebody else's baby mama. For some, you are the grandparents. For some, you are the grandparents. Dear God. So for some, I feel it's your baby mama or somebody else's baby mama. For some, you are the grandparents. I heard it's a very angry baby mama. She's going to try to basically storm up in your house soon. Um, but she's going to be angry about something. She's going to try to basically just bust up in your house. Uh, well, how rude is that? How rude and how unthoughtful and how um, terrible is that? And that's just the truth. But I heard... Um, the spiritual download in that was to lock your doors and call the police. I heard you're not going to want to do it, but I heard it's going to be the best thing to protect you because she is dangerous, and you know she's dangerous. Whether you are a grandparent of a child and you're the grandparent in this situation, or um, you are the, um, the father and that's the baby mama, or you are somebody else and it's the baby mama. How that resonates and applies, okay? Man. For one, you're about to start babysitting. You're a high vibrational younger energy. About to relieve money problems. Well, that's beautiful. Okay, so you're a high vibrational younger energy. You're about to start babysitting. I heard it's going to relieve some money problems. Well, congratulations, whoever that's for. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. I feel you can be 35 or below. Successful outcome of your problems is going to relieve some money problems. You're going to start babysitting. I heard you're high vibrational, so I don't think you're going to be abusing kids or Placing hidden cameras in um, kids' bathrooms or bedrooms and exploiting and abusing them on the dark web. Thank God for that. So, um, kudos to you, high vibrational babysitter, younger babysitter, 35, 34, below. Okay? Opportunities are waiting for you, babysitting. Patience.
One, you've been patiently awaiting a package. It's about to arrive. Well, congratulations. One, you've been patiently awaiting a package. It's about to arrive. So I think you bought, you purchased this package or somebody purchased it for you, but you know it's coming and it's about to arrive. So kind of package. Um, you've been patiently, in this aspect, patiently awaiting the package. It's about to arrive. I think that um, it's going to give you some kind of opportunity, possibly, with this package or information for opportunity. It might be a successful outcome to your problem. I heard you've been patiently waiting. So um, whatever package this is and how that resonates. And there is an Aquarius Feminine, older Aquarius Feminine. She is, she's dying. You know she is, and she, you're right, she is. It's going to be a slow, painful death because of the way she treated others in the past. She might get put on hospice soon. Oh, that's terrible. So for she's very, she's very much into the dark arts in the past, very much, and you know this. Oh, okay, so dark arts. Aquarius, older Aquarius, she could be 35, 36 or above. I heard she's dying. She's dying. So, but whoever you are, you know she is. Um, so, and she was very heavy into the dark arts in the past. So, she manifested her material wealth or looks or money or, or whatever, whatever, her connections or whatever through dark arts in the past. And you know she was very heavy into it, Scorpio, whoever she is. Um, she's an older Aquarius femme. I feel 35, 36 or above. She got Aquarius in any aspects of her charts, but she is dying. And it sounds like the dark arts has already backfired in the form of some kind of terrible medical condition or conditions that's come declining her health. And I'm just being for real. Um, I heard she'd probably be put on hospice soon. So anybody doesn't know, hospice services are services for patients in very ill, probably probable terminal situations. Hospice services can be run, to my knowledge, I've never been a hospice nurse, but I worked, um, I used to communicate with a lot of good hospice nurses, six month span. So she'll, uh, he or she, Aquarius, or her is an Aquarius fam, it's an older Aquarius fam. If she, um, she'll probably be put on like a six month span of service. But I heard she's slowly dying, so I don't think it's going to happen like next week. Or two weeks. I think it's going to take at least a month or two or three or four. If or if she goes past the six months, she might get re-extended for her services and it might be past the six months. Um, this is happening for a reason. So she cannot pass away quickly. Pain and suffering for what she's done to other people. And it, you're highly intuitive and you know this. Oh, my God. Whoa, that's terrible. Okay, so she's not going to pass away right away. I'll tell you that. She might pass away within the six-month certification for hospice or not. She might get extended for another six months. But she's not going to pass away immediately. I'm telling you that. It's going to be slow. Um, but how that resonate? She apparently did something malicious and spiteful and vindictive and terrible to uh, many others in the past. Um, and that's apparently why the universe is making, uh, basically bringing this upon her as some kind of slow, painful death process. So slowly dying. So she can see how it feels, how she's afflicted all the pain and misery and suffering on other people. So in this aspect, patience, um, slowly dying. She is a dark arts, older Aquarius feminine. Um, I think you're, for some, you're gonna be upset when she passes away, but I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna be, um, it's not gonna be like tomorrow or two days from now. I mean, like, she's not gonna have modeling in like two days. I mean, it's gonna be slow. It's gonna be slow. Whatever condition or condition she has. Probably within the next six months for some, for some within the next year. Some within the next six months, probably, and some within the next year. So there's at least two. Some they might pass away within the next six months. Some within the next year. But you know they're pa you know they're on, they're going down, declining health wise. They know they're going down, and um, hospice. So I'm thinking they're about, probably about to be put on hospice, whether they pass away within the next six months or the next year. You plug it in how it resonates. I feel for some. 
you're closely connected to this older Aquarius fam, or you used to be, comment that resonates and applause. Okay. For one of you Scorpios, you're about to report, report a foster parent for abuse to the state. You know this foster parent is abusing some one child, some two plus children. And you're about to report them. So an investigation can be done. This is definitely the right thing to be done. Well, you go with your bad self, Scorpio. We're almost done. We're 41 minutes in. So one of you guys... Um, you know a foster parent. So meaning they get paid by the state to raise child or children. They get paid money every month, if you didn't know. Trust me, I'm a, I used to be a foster child, child system, um, when I was a kid. And so I know this, but, um, foster parents get paid by the state every month. Um, and they usually Christmas time get extra money too for the child's Christmas, if you didn't know that too, um, to raise the children. Um, but whoever this foster parent is that you know, only you know who this foster parent is in your life, not anybody else, Scorpio, they have been abusing, and it's at least two. One's been abusing one child, one, two, two plus children, but you know they have been. So, I think they've been misappropriating their money, or, um, doing heinous things to them, uh, or whatever, whatever. But, you know about the abuse, and I heard you're about to call the state. So, whatever state you guys live in or they live in or, or whatever whatever and report them for child abuse uh, i heard so an investigation could be done and i heard that is the smart move so i think you've been patiently waiting and trying to figure out what to do in this situation um it's at least two of you guys but it's definitely a foster parent you know for sure and you um you know there's child abuse going on you know there is so um i think you're gonna make a verbal report on the phone or maybe an email report or some kind of report to the state, whatever state um, they're in that um, I think the state, the state that pays them for the money for the children or child. Um, so they can be investigated. Absolutely. That's what I would do too. I think you've been patiently trying to figure out what the hell to do. And I think you um, solved your problem as far as um, um going to you haven't made the report yet to the state but it sounds like upcoming you're about to um that's what i would do if i knew a foster parent or parents was um abusing children because i'm a huge advocate for foster people because i used to be a foster child absolutely in fact i was considering upcoming becoming a foster uh, parent because my kids aren't even here with me right now and that's just the truth but i don't know we'll see all right let me see if we have anything else I didn't. I didn't. All right. I love you guys so much. Um, everybody make wonderful choices and I will say.